Section 21.10, the classification of redox reactions. In sections 10, 11, and 12, we will study the redox reactions between two transition metal complexes. What is a redox reaction? A redox reaction involves energy transfer from one species to another species. So, in this section, we'll look at the energy transfer from one transition metal complex to another transition metal complex. It can be done in two different ways. We call them inner sphere and、uh, electron transfer, and outer sphere electron transfer. So now let's look at this two transition metal complexes.、Uh, this、uh, pink sphere、uh, represents the electron to be transferred from here to here. So you may imagine this is iron two. This is iron three, and this is going to become iron three after losing an electron. This iron three will become iron two after getting this electron. So, how does this electron transfer from this transition metal center to this transition metal center? Well, again, let's say we have two different transition metal complexes. They first need to get close to each other, right? They need to get close. To each other, so you can see these two ligands are really close to each other. This blue sphere is bonded to iron two. This orange sphere is bonded to iron three. So now it's possible for this orange to leave, okay, but not you know really far away. Just left all this changing metal center, and then over here, this blue sphere is. Starting to form a, another bond with the second transition metal center. How is this possible? Well, as long as you have a bidentate ligand, it's very likely. Even if you just have water, a water molecule has two lone pairs, so you can have one lone pair here, one lone pair here. But of course, I mean, water is not ideal because、uh, the two lone pairs are not 180 degrees. From each other, all right. But again, I'm just telling you: if you have a bidentate ligand、uh, with two different uh, donors, uh, ideally on the opposite sides, and then you can form a linkage here, okay, with this ligand serving as the bridge that connects these two different transition metal centers. And over over here, this is still iron two. This is still iron three. Okay, now something、uh, will happen. Something will happen. So from here to here,、uh, we will observe the electron transfer. So this means electron transfer. Okay,、uh, through this bridge or through this link. Okay, electron transfers、uh, through the bonds. All right, through the bonds. So you observe electron flow、uh, from this iron two to、uh, this bridge, and then to this iron three. Okay, and then this blue sphere will be bonded to. Ah,、uh, this is now your new iron two. So this blue sphere will be bonded to the new iron two with this additional electron here, and this orange sphere. Is kind of close to this complex. It can get to the other transition metal center and form a bond here. So in this case, in this case, you have electron transfer、uh, between one transition metal center to the other via the so-called inner sphere mechanism. All right, inner sphere. So going from here to here. You go through these two chemical bonds, okay? Okay. The electron transfer is going from one transition metal center to the other through these two chemical bonds. The second mechanism is called outer sphere. 
So again, you have two transition metal complexes. Okay, this time we don't really worry about the ligands because they do not take part uh, in the electron transfer. So you can just put just any ligands there. For simplicity, we have six gray spheres here and six gray spheres here as well. Uh, they first need to get close to each other. So iron 2, iron 3 get close to each other. And as long as they are close enough to each other, the electron may transfer from one transition metal to the other. Okay? Uh, it can just go from here to here as long as they are close enough. All right? Or it's possible for this electron to go through a solvent molecule and go here. Either way. Okay, just both are possible. And from here to here, this step does not involve any bond breaking. So over here, you see the bond cleavage here. It's not occurring in the outer sphere mechanism. No bond breaking. And no bond reformation. Okay? And there's no breach. Okay? So the electron simply just flows from here to here directly or through a small solvent molecule. That's also possible, right? And then now you have iron 2 here, iron 3 here. You get the products, right? You get the products. So over here, it's diffusion apart. So they are close to each other. But then, you know, due to uh, the thermal motion of all molecules, they may uh, leave each other. Same here. And then you have this energy uh, electron transferred. Okay, from one transition metal center to another. From one transition metal center to another. And again, these two mechanisms are called inner and outer sphere mechanisms. Over here, this is the inner sphere mechanism. This is outer sphere mechanism. In the inner sphere mechanism, it involves uh, the bond breaking between a ligand and the transition metal. It involves... Uh, the bond reformation between these two and involves uh, the bridging ligand. Okay, so uh, in this case, if we study the mechanism, if we would like to know whether it's inner sphere mechanism or outer sphere uh, mechanism, uh, we can actually look at uh, the uh, ligands, if there are any exchange of the ligands. If there are exchange of ligands, well, it's inner sphere. If uh, there's no ligand exchange, very likely it's outer sphere mechanism. But still, I mean, it's possible. I think, okay, I think it's possible for this orange to get back to the same transition metal center after the electron transfer. I think this is possible. This is possible. So if there's no ligand exchange, very likely it's just this outer sphere mechanism. The electron just jumps from one transition metal center to another, okay? Or electron flows from one transition metal center to another, okay? And also, it's possible that the mechanism is inner sphere mechanism. It's just that this orange sphere uh, eventually gets back to the original transition metal center. So, 